SB19 released a new music video, Freedom. And I was told, I haven't seen the music video, I've heard the song before. Um, but I was told that this was actually shot here in the US. Let's get to it. Oh. <laughs> I'm just so proud seeing their own logo. So I'm just going to give some some thoughts in the song because I've heard this before. They, um, I've seen them, I've watched them perform this live um, on YouTube, not like live in person. So I kind of know the song already. Okay, so just thoughts in these first two lines. But, but first, I'm just wondering, I don't know if you guys are aware, but they are so strict here in the U.S. when you shoot. Um, you always need to permit. I've been in so many fights with police officers. <laughs> so whenever we shoot outside, we get called out. Um, so I'm wondering if they actually got a permit or if they just decided to shoot it using a phone camera or whatever. But, yeah, okay, that's not really important. <laughs> What's important is the way that Pablo actually wrote the song. There really is something about the way that he puts the words together. He doesn't really use a lot of complicated words or old Filipino words or any kind of word that is difficult to comprehend. He, most of the time, uses everyday words, you know, words that we actually use in the street and whatever. So it's very, very palatable. Um, because you're familiar with the words that he's using. But it's really the way that he puts them together and the thought that forms when he puts the words together that actually makes it magical. So in the first verse, he say he when okay, it's here. Kenny's so cute. Okay, here. Okay. That's just one line, but he said so many things. So he said that heaven seems so far from reality. Saying that, so not, it, that's an ordinary thing that you can, all the words that he used in that sentence is very ordinary, something that we use every day. But what he's actually saying is that it seems that heaven is far from reality. He's just, you know, sort, sort of wondering like that, which means that he thinks heaven is not far from reality, that his reality is actually heaven. So with such a simple sentence, he's actually able to deliver a sub-message, which is more important. And, and um, it, then it actually drives you to wonder, okay, what makes your reality feel like heaven? Which he answers in the next one. The next line. Okay, so it, he's saying that it's actually your touch your you you holding me that's actually what made my reality heaven um he used one word there which at least in manila as far as i remember <laughs> because i haven't been there in a while we don't use it in an everyday in an everyday setting the word tangan is kind of like an old filipino language a filipino word maybe in the province they use it a lot but in manila we don't use it a lot as far as i remember but him Putting it in the middle of other common words, you know, words that we commonly use in our everyday, gives the, the, the line a different kind of kick. It has a different kind of impact. When I, were, when I heard the use time, I was like, huh? <laughs> um, and also, there's something magical about hearing a song sang in your own language, especially if you're, if you're living in a country that don't really speak your language. So I really appreciate that because when I heard it, it's like, oh. <laughs> um it's a sort it drives me sort of closer to my roots i guess is what i'm saying okay I'm getting a little emotional. I don't know when it's actually a happy song. <laughs> it's something light. I feel like this is a fan song. Um, 
But I think knowing where they came from and what they went through and seeing them thrive and actually succeed, I think that's because I have a little bit more of a connection to them. That's what make that's what's actually making me emotional. Um, and I think there's something to be said about them deciding to do it in the U.S. It could be just a the circumstance. They're already there. Might as well shoot a music video. But it kind of feels like it's them thanking A-teams in the Philippines for supporting them and getting them through the hard times and look at where they are now starting to conquer the U.S. It's like them saying, you know, it's like them presenting this great achievement that they have to the people to the people that actually supported them. That's what it feels like to me. Um, I guess that's what's making me a little emotional. Um, but I think it's, I, I don't think there's anything complicated about the song. I think they really wrote this. I don't know if I'm right, but I think they wrote this really as a thank you to, to 18s. Okay. Don't know who sent you here. No mad, welcome, <laughs> I love those simple animations. My God, the stability of of uh, the control that Stell's, Stell has over his voice, unmatched. Oh. <laughs> There's something about Pablo's look in that scene. Like others are naughty. Others are playful. Others are cute. And then he, there's something very sentimental and very meaningful in that look. I like the contrast in in that the contrast between Paolo's Pablo's uh, rap and the rap of Ken. If I have one unit song that I'm, I really can't wait is for the unit song of the rap line. In that particular part, Pablo felt like he was really letting go, and and Ken felt like he was trying to hold something together. So nice contrast. The shots are so good, by the way. Who's the cinematographer? I just can't. This song, it, this is one of the best songs to actually demonstrate the versatility of each of the members. Also, Josh, he has to improve so much. He used to be very. I know that there were a lot of people trying to criticize him for his singing when he's not actually a singer, he was a rapper. Um, but the way that he has improved, I don't know if he took voice lessons or whatever, but my God, he's really better than like 80% of other so called vocalists. <laughs> Um, but also, like you can clearly see the versatility of Ken. He can rap, he can sing. The versatility of Pablo, he can rap, he can sing. It, it feels like this are... And it's no wonder they're successful in their solo careers because they are versatile. They can pretty much do anything, um, cover any kind of genre. And it's so odd that you can actually say it in, that, in this song. You can hear it in this song when it is supposed to be a simple song. Who can who can sustain that note that high? Oh, nice shot! Nice shot! Okay, 
Um, yeah, it's it's. I think it's a pretty simple song. I don't think they really meant it to be anything complicated. Um, I think it's. I'm not sure if I'm right, but I think it was really written for for 18s. Um, and the the message has been, you know, pretty clear, but no less meaningful. And I I think it's more for me right now. It's more. Because I know where they came from. I know what they just accomplished. Um, and I know the potential that they have in the future. That's I think that's really what's making me so emotional here. Finally seeing the music video of this. And I think it was a great choice. They did it here in the US. I do feel that 5-10 years from now, we're going to look at this music video and feel like this is some sort of a foreboding <laughs> moment because this is the country that they are going to conquer next. Um, they're starting, but I'm pretty sure in a couple of years, I'm going to see them in an arena. And um, I don't care how hard it is to get a ticket, I'm going to be there. <laughs> um, looking forward to seeing the rest of their journey. I would love to hear your thoughts. You can say anything that you want to say, please leave them in the comment section below, but please be respectful. You can also get in touch with me in any of the social media links that you see on your screen right now. But if you do end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification button so that you know when there's a new video getting published. More importantly, please share the video if you can. Hi, 18s. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Thank you.